Bunnies, it is time for another adventure. Today we are on the island I actually live on. I am in Batam, in the Riau Islands in Indonesia. At Asia's latest Marriott launch, the Batam Harbor Bay Marriott, or I think it's Batam Marriott Harbor Bay. I don't care. Whatever it is, it is such a wonderful property. The attention to detail, the wonderful care that the chefs are putting into the ingredients, the beautiful sweets, it's all just wonderful. And I'm gonna show you everything I got up to on this long staycation weekend. It's Monday night, I had a very late checkout. We are going to start with my suite, and move through the culinary delights, and I'm going to tell you some tips for having the best day when you're here. But before anything, if you're new to my channel, I am Angela Carson. I put out videos a couple times a week, generally speaking, on the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Asia. Today that is in my current home residence of Batam. Okay, this place is brand spanking new. Like, not every category of room is available at the moment. Only half of the food and beverage is available. But they have their standard rooms and they have sweets available, and that is what I'm going to show you. I am in 515. There is a guest bathroom, which is always nice, and just a immense, massive seating area, super cozy sofa, and one of the things that you'll see throughout the, the suite is the change in textures on the walls. So each of the walls basically has either a fabric on it, it's wood, it has something special to it, which I found very charming and very unique. Normally in a hotel room, there is a style of wall, maybe two. I counted five uh, basic different textures in my room. Now this suite also features an outdoor balcony. They set up two tables for me. I have one big, one small. I had coffee out here this morning, which was really lovely. And it's just a great place to kind of chill, I think, for either, you know, sunset drinks because you have a view of the sunset from your balcony here. Actually, from most rooms. Hold on, let me show you where I am right now. So as you can see, all of these rooms face the same general direction. My suite is just there. So, let's see, am I back again? Okay. So they all have these magnificent sunset views that you're going to love. The bed was super cozy. I swear I'm the first people to sleep on that bed. And with those pillows, it was wonderful. I also wanted to, I, I don't have a bathtub at home at the moment. I just have a shower. So when I was um, pre-planning all of this, I said, look, I'm gonna want like 12 bubble baths while I'm there. And I said, okay, yeah, 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 we'll help you. So they did, they brought, you know, some extra um, uh, shower gel for me so I could whip up my bubble bath. I ordered in, okay, room service is fabulous, you'll see this later. But the first night I ordered in a cheese platter. And I'll talk to you about that in a bit, but I had the cheese platter. Um, I had ordered a bottle of wine, had that, it was just fantastic. Now the club rooms will come. I think the club rooms will open up in late December. So if you're watching this and pre-planning your trip, um, think ahead to the club lounge. Because that was the one thing I really missed while I was here. I love the club lounge. Um, so look forward to that. outlets open at the moment. There is the coffee shop, which was called, oh, I don't remember, I'll put it right here right now, um, which I had lunch at the first day. I actually had a few coffees from there to keep refueling, and I had a really delicious, healthy salad. They had some amazing things on the menu, like some really interesting teas. 
They had a really interesting lunch, lunch dishes. They also have items packaged up so you could take things to go if you're heading out to do some sightseeing and you just want something to nibble on on the way or as a picnic once you're somewhere. So I thought that was, that, that's really great. If they put bottles of wine in the chiller, I think that would be quite good, but they're not there yet. Um, but that was the only thing missing for me at the coffee shop. Well, now that I say coffee shop, wine does sound weird, but you know how at the, the, where there's the to-go things normally, there's wine, anyway. Now the lounge is expansive as well, and it's beautiful. It's like a triple high ceiling, and you can have afternoon uh, drinks. Well, I went down there at noon today, 11.30, and had a mimosa. Today is actually my 50th birthday. So uh, I went down, I was sipping mimosas down there at 11.30. You can lounge and drink all day, but I know that they serve tapas. So that would be quite fun. And the one restaurant that is open in addition to the room service is Gobi Kitchen. And I had the best time. They do a Saturday night seafood buffet, which I was just blown away. There were so many locals queuing up for the buffet on, the, on, on Saturday night, which is the day I arrived. And it was delicious. Uh, chef Francesco Greco is the executive chef here. And he, the first thing I always ask chefs when I'm doing interviews is what do you bring in fresh? What is farm fresh here? And his list was like, it was in, insane. It's the most attention to detail on fresh quality ingredients on the island of Batam. And I'm really sorry to other hotels that are watching this, but it's true. Um, I've, <clears throat> I've reviewed all of the big luxury properties. One that you would think, well, I would think that all of them would have amazing fresh seafood, but one had like one fish that was fresh, the rest is all frozen. Most have frozen food because it's more economical for them. That is not what they do here at Marriott and you will be so thankful that they have spent so much time going around curating these amazing farmers and artisan vendors and cheese makers because it, you taste it in every bite. So Gobi Kitchen, a Saturday nights they do the seafood buffet. I was told that they're going to start a Sunday brunch once the world kind of opens up back, <laughs> opens back up again which would be really fun there. I had a la carte dishes as well that were just divine. I, today I tried the charcuatao, which is a noodle dish, and they let me go back and film them. It was very fun. tried the lamb it's just so yummy and it's just knowing how fresh everything is I actually went down for about a half an hour it's like three stories below or something like that two floors down um, from the ground level is where the kitchens are and they have individual rooms set up for each of the different things there was like a cheese and fruits room there was one room for like carvings and uh, like the butchery and all of that. There was another just for the fresh fish. It, it, it was amazing. And the fresh fish really was fresh. Nothing was frozen in there. They, they don't have freezers, they have chillers. So it's just, if you're a foodie, if you really care about the fact that they've sourced from farmers all around Indonesia, this is going to be a really wonderful experience for you. Be sure to ask questions too, because the managers and, and the whole staff will know how to answer you about what's, like what they've just pulled there, what farm has just dropped something off or whatever. Anyway, I cannot say anything but the most positive review for all of the food and the drinks that I've had here. It was top notch. I don't have one single note on any of that. Just beautiful. All right, and sadly the spa is not open, but I know that's coming too. So there's lots to look forward to here. I think a weekend, like a long weekend like I did, I did kind of Saturday noon to like quite late today um, on Monday. 
I'm just super relaxed. It's, it's a lovely place. It's a lovely view. And right outside the door, you have this new development of all of these kind of hip, uh, quality-driven restaurants and bars as well. So it's a fun place to just get out and walk. You don't need to take a car to go anywhere. It's wonderful. All right, you guys, stay safe. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, week ahead. I will talk to you very soon. Lots of love from Batam.